I've been practicing yoga for maybe 2,000 years. <laughs> and uh, no, really, I started practicing in um, the mid 80s. I was a meditator, so I was uh, very much involved with uh, sitting. I used to sit outdoors on uh, the roof of my college dorm. And so uh, in combination with meditation, I, I found the postures. You know, I've been fortunate to be part of this wave of um, yoga in this culture and to help shape the way yoga has generated and changed. Well, the main three uh, aspects of our school, Prajna Yoga, are anatomy and the wisdom and then the practice, the physical asanas. These three we braid together. The first is the wisdom study so that students uh, really have a sense for where the yoga path is going. What's, what's the intention behind yoga? What is one's own innermost calling to evolve on this path? And so along with the wisdom teachings, we really encourage the physical practices. Not only do we do uh, postures, and, but we also do a lot of work that uh, opens up the joint spaces and frees up the meridian channels. And so we have a large vocabulary of movements that complement the asana. And so there's the physical practice and then there's the anatomical understanding. And so we emphasize structure because that's what we have in common. All styles of yoga have different approaches to, to yoga practice, but everybody's got a body. When we can understand physical structure, especially for yoga therapeutics, then one can really speak to the, the anatomy. And so I like to weave together the esoteric anatomy from the historic yoga tradition relative to the uh, insights that come today from uh, the understandings of the body through contemporary lenses of somatic understanding. And so then there, for me, there's a dynamic uh, balance between the ancient wisdom and the contemporary understanding of the body-mind connection. And so my greatest wish for people is to live unconfined awareness and to uh, be able to express themselves in ways that are uh, free of confinement of any kind. Thank you.